guys welcome to another video okay it's been a while who wants the tea on my Disney trip all right stay tuned hey guys um so I know it's been a minute um I just got back from vacation yesterday um, I was at Disney World in Orlando um, with my niece and nephew so we just got back yesterday so I'm just like getting back in the groove of being home and all that good stuff. So I wanted to just tell you guys like where we stayed at, um, just like what was going on because Disney has a level of, in my opinion, that they should be on. And um, the trip was nice, but I'm going to share with you guys some stuff that was like really, I don't know, just eye opener for me. Um, so we stayed at the... Kadana Villa. So there's two of them. There's one called the Jumbo House and then the Kadana. We it's further up, so we stayed at that one. And um the best times that we had on this trip were outside of the villa. Um and I say that because everything that was occurring at this villa was just a problem. Um so just before I get into all of that, I did have a really good time at the theme parks. Um, I'll put in little videos probably at the end um, just so you guys can kind of see like what we did and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, the Kadana Villa, I would not recommend to anybody to stay at, at Disney. So number one, um, we only live two hours from Disney. So we drove in. So we didn't have to do all the extra baggage and all that kind of stuff. So when I called um, around like 2.45, we were about 15 minutes away from the villa. I call front desk and I tell them that we're going to be there. So the lady at the front desk tells me on the phone, she says, our room will be ready by three because I was doing everything on their app. And... Um, it tells you your room number when the room is actually ready. So I was like, this is perfect. We're going to get there at three. So I go in um, when we pull up to the front and I'm like, I tell them what I just told you guys. And then the, the guy front desk, I guess he was like an acting supervisor from the beginning because you'll hear more about him. He just had an attitude. And before I, you know, I want to make a disclaimer, like I know everything going on, you know, we have to be kind to the people that are still out here working and all of that, but I treat you how you treat me. So if you give me an attitude, I'm giving you one back. So immediately when I go in, um, you could just feel the, the energy. He already had an attitude. He must've been having a bad day, not my problem that's yours so he tells me he doesn't know why the lady told us three o'clock um, because nothing is usually ready until four so I said that's fine we'll just go get something to eat you know whatever see the sights and all that stuff because if you've ever been to Disney there's a road called US 192 it's basically a strip of stores um, and then there's like um like a festival like rides and stuff like that like a fair so there's a lot to do there's a lot of places to eat so that's what we went and did for an hour um then i didn't get a call from them until um or actually a text message saying that my room was ready with the room number um until like 4 15 so that was already like a dub like you guys are already behind on time. So I just kind of felt from that day and I forgot my sage at home. So I already knew like from that moment, you know, when one thing, it just seems like a trickle effect. So we go to the room. Um, we put all our stuff in because you really don't have to mess with front desk at Disney. If you do everything on your app, you can unlock your door with your magic bands, all that good stuff, whatever. So we went to the room. Um, and you know everything seemed fine so we just put our stuff in the room I had brought my Lysol spray and all that my own stuff and I sprayed everything down before we left and just went out to enjoy our day um, and just see like the rest of the villa that we were staying at and what was happening there um, so we weren't in the room at all we didn't get back to the room until like 1130 at night um, because there was a pool on um, on the villa there was a jacuzzi so we ended up being down there eating out there drinks and all that kind of stuff just letting the kids enjoy <clears throat> you know what was going on um we get back to the room and we just all just pass out like in our clothes on the bed we didn't even 
you know, take the sheets off or anything. We kind of just passed out because I had already sprayed. So I wake up the next day, guys, and um, I'm like turning over and my other half, <laughs> he's like, what is this on the bed? So I pull the sheets back, guys, and I'm gonna show you a picture right here. On the sheets, there was dry blood on the sheets. Yeah, take that in with COVID going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is Disney. Keep that in mind. So, and it was, as you see, it's in the picture. You guys are going to see it's, it's dry, like it oxidized. So it's been sitting here. So that means that the hour and 15 minutes that you guys made me wait for my room to be cleaned and ready, what were you guys doing? So I was just utterly disgusted. So not only that, um, I start, we start looking through the whole room. There ends up being blood guys on the curtain to go out to the balcony. So we were like, okay. And then the last picture I'm going to show you guys is there's blood on the bottom, on the floor of the balcony. Like somebody tried to like move it with their feet or something like that just to get rid of it. So I immediately went down to front desk because not only did he have an attitude from the beginning when I first came in, he wasn't answering the phone for my particular room. So me and my niece go down there. Um, sorry if the mic... Um, I was trying to adjust that. Um, so me and my niece go down and before I tell you what happened, anywhere indoors at Disney, they have the restriction, you have to wear a mask. So, um, I was just heated. So I had just walked straight without a mask down to front desk with my niece and I let him see the pictures. Um, he didn't even care. He seemed like he had the attitude of like, so what? So I was like, well, you're an acting supervisor. I don't want to talk to you anyway. So I asked to speak to his boss. He never got that situated. All he said was that he was going to get head of housekeeping to give me a call and they were going to take care of the situation. So um, all he does is just give me a mask because remember, I didn't have a mask. And I was like looking around and I wish I got it on video, guys. And I don't, I'm not really one to like throw the race card out, but it was so funny that as he's giving me an attitude and trying to like own the situation when he's wrong about what happened in our room, there's people walking by, Caucasians, with no mask, all out and about and doing whatever they want, but he makes sure he gives me one. So it was just a lot of like tension between me and him for whatever reason. I don't even know this person from Adam. So, you know, it was what it was. So we went back to the room, um, housekeeping called um, the room um, or my cell phone um, at like um, maybe 10 minutes or so after we got back to the room and we were just having the discussion of what was going on. He was in agreement that it was disgusting. Even him being head of housekeeping, it was kind of like he knew the people that work under him are not good workers, if you get what I'm saying. So what was just also upsetting was that we didn't even get another room, guys. What he did was he gave us a $150 gift card to just eat at the restaurants that we couldn't even get reservations for at the villa that we're staying at. <laughs> and then... Um, he had people come and do a high disinfect um, of the room and change the sheets. So I was just like blown away that of all places, Disney, this is what you guys, this is how you guys operate. So um, basically what happened was they changed the sheets. Any For the rest of the days that we were there, I just highly sanitized it myself because I had brought my wipes and sprays um, for us anyway. And um, I got the bra strap. And yeah, basically that's what we did. We didn't even really stay in the villa. Like we slept like on top of the sheets and stuff. We were just totally disgusted. Nobody was trying to give us another room. Um, if, if when we went down to the front desk, like if you overheard other people's conversations, they were all just like disgusted with their trip. Like the rooms weren't ready. It was just the hallways were dirty. There was just garbage everywhere. It was just not a good place. And for it to be Disney, I was just like blown away. So, um, yeah, we had a bad experience with where we stayed at, but on top of everything else, like we had a really good time. Magic Kingdom was probably our best part of the trip. Um, you know, we got to really see all the characters and you guys will see all the little clippets that I got. Um, but overall, I would not recommend 
the Kadana Villa. That is so disgusting. I've already left my review. I left my pictures that I showed you guys. And the the service was just bad. Like I said, I know with the pandemic, they don't have a lot of workers. But there's just a, a standard at Disney, I feel, that they should have with their workers and what how they operate. And I'm just like, I was just taken back that I was just already saying, like, I don't even know if I'll ever go back. You know what I mean? So yeah so that's what happened so you guys already know what i say all the time let's talk in the comments um do you guys think i should do something else like besides leaving a review like let me know and yeah so but enjoy the little clips um probably pictures i have so much so i'm just gonna like try to not do too much to make it such a long video but yeah if you guys follow me on my um instagram um, my business page I put a little bit of stuff there too um, because I was away from the business as well so on that note I guess everybody have a magical day as they say right have a magical Disney day right as they say <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye